Hi all and welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. In this video lecture we'll be uh, setting up an entire real-time monitoring stack. The stack consists of Prometheus and Grafana and different type of targets. So Prom Prometheus is well-known open source application. It records real-time metrics in a time series database. Wherein Grafana is again an open source analytics and interactive visualization web application. So before that we have a prerequisites we need to install docker before we start so in order to install docker just go on the official website docs.docker.com so let me tell you first this particular video is not platform dependent i am using ubuntu but you guys can use windows mac whichever you want the only requirement is you, you need to install docker on your machine so uh, you can go go and click on any of this link and follow the inst inst installation guidance and we have few targets like we have node exporter we have docker metrics and prometheus node exporter is to capture the operating system system level metrics docker is to monitor your container and prometheus will monitor itself too okay so let's move ahead and let's start check whether we uh, whether my docker is running or not so uh, as i said i'm using ubuntu so i'll use system ctl status docker to check the st the docker status on my machine let's see okay here we go so our docker status is active and it's running so the next part would be uh, we have to create a compose.yml file so i've already created a compose.yml file let me walk you through the code what i have written one by one so starting from the top uh, we have the version so i'm using version one okay for this particular demo and we'll have services so prometheus image Prometheus image I'm getting it from docker hub that is the image we are going to use for this demo okay uh, let's go on the docker hub website and, and I'll show you how to get those image so the website is docker hub it's again an official website of docker you can got, get all your images from here okay so I'm using port 9090 that's a default port for Prometheus and the container name is Prometheus. Restart always. If the service stops, it will start automatically. And the network mode is host. And very important, the volume. So we need a Prometheus configuration, which needs to be copied into a Docker container too. So I'm running Prometheus in container as well as Grafna in container. So we need a configuration file for Prometheus as well as for Grafna. That's two important part. We'll talk about Prometheus.yml in a while. I'll explain like what 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 all things we have inside Prometheus.yml. Okay, next Grafna. So I'm using Grafna and forward slash Grafna and the default port 3000. The container name is Grafna. Again, restart always. The important part is depend. So once Prometheus gets installed then only Grafna will get installed so it has dependency similarly we have a config Grafna co Grafna configuration needs to be installed uh, needs to be copied in etc Grafna folder of container so these are the two important configuration file which is needed to run Prometheus and Grafna okay let's go and have a look on Prometheus.yml file like what do we have in it So this is the Prometheus YML file. So I have all these files in my home directory. So this is a global configuration. I have a scrap interval setup for 15 seconds. Scrap is nothing but fetching metrics from the target host. Okay. And we have evaluation interval 2. That is 15 seconds. So if, if there's a metric set and if it fails, it evaluates for 15 seconds, then it depending upon the threshold depending upon the up and down it sends a notification it's a it, it does the evaluation 
and if you have an alert manager set up it will send a notification too for this video I'm not considering alert manager that would be altogether a different topic if needed I'll be creating a new video based on alert manager and I'll talk about how to set up rules for alert manager okay and at the bottom we have the scrap configuration so this is the same configuration the, the scrap configuration so this is the same configuration where as we talked about target node exporter docker metrics and prometheus metrics so we are configuring configuring those things right in the Pro prometheus.yml so the first one is the prometheus 2 and it has a scrap interval of 5 seconds that's the target host that's local host 1990 similarly we have node exporter for the underlying operating system that target is uh, it's 9100 and we have docker so we are monitoring docker 2 the local host 9323 these are the default ports so if you want to change the default port to something else that can be done easily okay so this was all about prometheus.yml a very important file let's go back to grafna configuration so in grafna configuration i have not done much changes so this is the default configuration which comes in with grafna but based on your requirement if you want to tweak or if you want to make any changes to this file so you can go and go ahead and do the changes in the gra grafna.ini so all the default part both this file should go in etc uh, etc directory because uh, by default all these both application go and look for this configuration file in that particular path okay so these are the three critical file prometheus.yml docker.yml and grafna so let's run the docker compose file so in order to run the docker compose file the command is docker hyphen compose so I'm, i'll be using sudo hyphen f that is for standard input so i'm giving docker compose as a standard input up okay so if you run this uh, with an up command so this would be for this particular session for this particular uh, terminal session if we go and close this session the things will get stopped the services will get stopped so we use hyphen d so hyphen d stands for detach mode so we'll be running this in a detach mode so that even if the terminal gets closed the services won't stop okay let's go ahead and run the command okay here we go we have an error where it says invalid version so let's go and check the uh, compose file again and let's change the version there okay so I have put in one so I'll change it to two and I'll rerun the command the version is very important guys so please take care of it so I'm running the command again so I'm creating Prometheus Grafna is in progress right now here we go within 30 seconds a complete monitoring stack is ready let's go and check the logs if we have any error no so the Grafna uh, I don't see any error so let's go and check the container status okay here we go so both are container grafna and prometheus is running 39 seconds ago 44 seconds ago ignore the mysql db exporter which i have that is pretty old so the important part is both our containers are running right now so there is one more way of checking the container status uh, that is docker compose space ps so we'll get specific what we launched so we got Grafna and Prometheus this is what we launched okay uh, let's go and check the URL Prometheus URL it's uh, localhost 9090 
oh here we go so, so Prometheus is up and running let's check the targets what we set okay we have all the three targets up and running let's check the docker metrics so these are all the list of metrics Prometheus have a huge amount of metrics which you can capture and you can use all these metrics for your aggregate functions too so these are the list of metrics like this val mem stats so each and everything Prometheus, Prometheus captures each and everything that's why Prometheus is pretty famous the second is a node exporter again as I talked about this captures your underlying operating system metrics so we have all the HTTP request duration we have CPU all the CPU we have the file system available we have fi if there's any file system error even it captures that device error so Prometheus even captures that so it captures all the information what you need so it's a very good tool I would suggest and again it captures itself too so the Prometheus is the main monitoring tool what we're using over here so capturing Prometheus metrics is also essential to check how Prometheus is behaving okay so let's close this and let's check the Prometheus homepage this is the Prometheus homepage where you can query if you want to query any quick metrics you can do it from there we have a drop down we have a list of metrics inside it and I have some few custom metrics which we can run so this is checking HTTP request duration in one minute so this way you can uh, execute multiple queries custom queries as well Prometheus have a small graph so the Prometheus has improved a lot but this graph is not that interactive for ex uh, like the one who has a good knowledge of Prometheus he can use this graph but for us we would need our interactive tool that's why we need Grafna over here so let's go and check the Grafna tool because we got Grafna as well okay so very good guys we have Grafna 2 up and running the default user ID password is admin admin if you want to change if you want to change the password you can do it I'm not doing it right now I'll just skip it so this is the home page of Grafna the first thing first we have to add the data source in our case we have a data source Prometheus which needs to be added first that's the first step as I talked previously the uh, Prometheus can be clubbed and integrated with multiple data source like uh, graphite Zabex net data post postgres SQL but in our case we are doing uh, taking care of Prometheus so let's add Prometheus I'll, ha I'll add the URL the loc HTTP local host colon 1990 that's the URL I'll keep all the values default not making any changes to the values let's go and do a test save and test here we go the data source is working so Prometheus has been integrated with Grafna now let's create a dashboard in Grafna I'm adding a new panel so the, from the drop down I'll ch select Prometheus okay and in the metrics column we have all the metrics metrics now so we have the node exporter metrics we have Prometheus metrics so if you if you want to go let's do a quick check what, what can we do okay let's select any random metrics okay here we see here we go we can see the output in the top you can set the legend you can set the minimum state resolution yes and from it Grafna is known for different type of graph so I'm selecting heat map similarly we can select table and time series and it's giving an option to do a aggregate function so we don't have anything no output so you can play around with Grafna Grafna has lots of things and Prometheus is giving giving you n number of metrics so you guys can play around now I'm checking Prometheus itself like how Prometheus is behaving oh here we go so we can see the output so there, so there are 
n number of metrics which you can consider and you can create your aggregated functions so guys uh, using a docker compose file by one by just running one single command we, we were able to set up the entire monitoring stack we set up the prometheus we set up the grafna we have set up all the targets okay so if you if you guys like this video please like share and subscribe and do put your comments if you have any input for me and the the the, the complete script and the yml file would be available in my git repository please check the description box thank you